Hey guys, let's talk about a federal judge that ignores Supreme Court decisions. What is up, Wolverines, and welcome back to my little piece of the internet known as John Crump News. Before we talk about anything tonight, yes, tonight, I will be on Tipping Point with Kara McKinney on OAN. That's One American News Network. So go ahead and check me out. It's 10 p.m. Eastern, and I'll be talking about some gun issues. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist, and I concentrate on the 2A space. And I need you to do me a big favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. It means everything to me, and it helps get my word out there. Today, we are brought to you by our friends over at JSD Supply. JSD Supply sells everything that you need to complete your build. They sell the MUP1, which is based on the popular SIG P320 platform. They also sell polymer 80s, parts kits, and slides and barrels. Check them out at JSD Supply, and for a limited time, you can use code CRUMP and get $10 off your order and free shipping on all orders above a hundred dollars. So let's go ahead and talk about today's story. A reverend named Tim Christopher, a woman named Sarah Halpman, and the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus sued the State Agricultural Society over them banning guns at the state fair. The state fair is ran by the State Agricultural Society, but it's on public property so they ban guns and they ban guns because a lot of people gathered there and if you read the Bruin decision you can't ban guns because of that so these guys appealed to the Minnesota Federal District Court saying that their civil rights were being violated and that their second amendment rights were being violated well a judge John Tuheim who was appointed by Bill Clinton, has a history of anti-gun stuff, ruled against them. So basically, he was saying that the Agricultural Society can ban guns because of crowds, which goes directly against Bruin. Bruin laid out that certain places can be considered sensitive, government buildings and schools. But Thomas wrote that just because a place is where people gather. You cannot ban guns there. And it looks like they ban guns there because people gather at state fairs. So this judge totally, totally ignored that. But it gets better. <laughs> yes, there is more. The judge in the case shockingly applied means and scrutiny and narrow tailoring of the Second Amendment. Scrutiny and narrow tailoring of the Second Amendment. Now let's go back and talk about what Bruin said. Bruin not only gave you the right to carry a firearm in public, but it also states that courts cannot use means and scrutiny and narrow tailoring to decide. And this judge went ahead and did that. The judge is only supposed to apply the original text and history of the Second Amendment, and this judge did not. He used the old two-step process, which is totally verboten by the Bruin decision. I don't know if the judge did not understand the Bruin decision, did not read the Bruin decision, or if he's an activist judge. Not all hope is lost. The plaintiffs can file for what's called a motion of reconsideration, basically telling the judge that he screwed up. And they can highlight the Bruin decision. They can say, hey, you might not be aware of this, but the New York Pistol Rifle Association v. Bruin says that the two-step process is dead and you ruled on two things that are no longer a thing so you need to reconsider under Bruin. Whether he does that or not, who knows? They got about 10 days to file this. If not, then they will have to appeal to the circuit court. But if you lay this out in a motion of reconsideration, I don't see how he can say he didn't know when you're pointing it out. So he can say, oh, I didn't know that, but now I do, so i got to rule this way. Or he can risk his reputation and decide that he does not believe in the U.S. justice system and does not believe in the Supreme Court, which would look pretty bad for a U.S. district judge. Then they can appeal to the circuit court and take it from there. 
But that's it. Just wanted to point out that this douchebag judge decided to ignore Bruin and rule on an activist term. All right. So I will see you guys later. I love you very much. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Watch me on OAN tonight. I got to go do some stuff before that. So OAN, 10 o'clock, tipping point with Kara McKinney. All right. I love you very much. Wolverine's motherfucker.